Welcome to Extreme Makeover Ashton Edition. Now, would you just look at this sad, boring interior design with absolutely no color or depth? Pretty boring, huh? Yes, very boring. Well, you can fear no more, ladies and gentlemen, because the Simply Ashton Extreme Makeover team is here to help renovate and bring your house to life with all of the colors in the rainbow, excluding most of them. That is white, blue, purple, and even gold. If you ask me, that's most of the good colors anyway. So let us help renovate your home with some extremely tasteful death boxes, as you can see here, all over the home, sprinkled here, there, and everywhere. They just bring this house to life. Or put it to death if you look at it in a different way. But just look at the vibrance of colors here. Even blocking the door in some places, that's exactly what you want in your home. Believe me, you just want to crawl over the top of someone's dead body. I know I do, and I'm sure you do as well. Don't believe me? Well, here are just a few of our happy customer reviews so far. Wow! Nice. So what are you waiting for? Get in touch with Extreme Makeover Simply Ashton Edition today. Yes guys, what's going on? It's Ashton here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some legends which could receive potential buffs and nerfs in the near future and what I think would make a good buff or nerf for those legends. If you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more regular Apex Legends content. If you don't subscribe, however, well, I'll just let Crypto show you what happens to those who don't subscribe. But don't worry if that happens to you, because I'm sure there are plenty of respawn beacons around the map just for you. Just quickly before we get into the video, I want to say a massive thank you for 20,000 subscribers. This is an insane landmark for me and one that I want to celebrate with you guys. So as promised, there are some Simply Ashton stickers I want to give away for you guys. But to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and send me your most creative tweet. Be it some content that you've created, some artwork, some videos, anything creative at all, be it a game clip, some fan art, anything at all that you think is creative, send it to me on my Twitter, which is at Simply Ashton YouTube, and you will be entered into the giveaway. I've got absolutely tons of these things to give away for you guys, so make sure you enter that one, and you'll definitely be in with a shot of getting yourself some cool stuff. But finally, with all of that good stuff out of the way, let's get right into the video. So, legend buffs and nerfs are something we've seen a lot of in recent Apex Legends patches especially recently where we saw Wraith get a huge rework which a lot of people like and a lot of people are finding very hard to get used to but I still think there is a lot of room for potential nerfs and even buffs to some legends which still aren't quite up to scratch with other legends and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about five legends which I believe could receive nerfs or buffs in the near future and what I think would be really good nerfs or buffs to those legends. First up, I'm going to revisit a recent buff idea I gave in a video about Crypto and in my opinion, the perfect buff to bring Crypto absolutely where he should be would be to make it so that he can see how many squads there are in the nearby area on banners without having to go in his drone to do so. Now, he already has this ability when he is in his drone that he can see how many squads are in the surrounding area, which is a really nice ability for sure. However, I just feel like the need for him to go in his drone to see this just shouldn't be there. I feel like Crypto is far too dependent on his drone for his abilities and has absolutely no abilities for himself. And I think if he had one or two abilities that he could use without having to go inside of his drone to see it, then that would be a really good change for Crypto. 
Next up, I'm actually going to mention a legend which supposedly received a buff in the recent update, and that is Octane, and he received a speed boost for his stim, which is obviously something that we all expected anyway, but also he received some changes to the way his jump pad works, so that now you can double jump on the jump pad, which is a nice addition to the game, especially for a legend so weak as Octane. But personally, after some discussion with my teammates, we feel that Octane still isn't quite quite up there with the rest of the legends in the game and that he doesn't quite offer enough, especially to the team, to be viable in any kind of team based setup. The idea that we had for Octane would be an overall rework, changing it so that he sprints faster by default, not 40% increased movement speed though of course, maybe a 20% to 25% increased sprint speed by default as his passive potentially moving his jump pad to be a left bumper ability instead of an ultimate because we feel that his jump pad just isn't quite up there to be good enough as an ultimate ability when you compare it to some of the other ultimate abilities in the game. So making his jump pad a 60 second, 65 second cooldown left bumper ability would be a really nice idea for him if his natural sprint speed is faster and then making his ultimate something that brings the overall sprint speed of the entire team up by a percentage, then making Octane sprint at potentially that 40% increased sprint speed, whilst making his teammate stim at a 20% increased speed for a certain amount of time in maybe an area of effect type ability, so that when you're stood near Octane and he pumps this ultimate out, maybe you can run faster for a certain amount of time. This new rework would make Octane offer something to the team while still maintaining his current attributes that he holds so dearly to him, being faster than everyone and being able to jump higher than everyone else as well. Next up we wanted to take a look at Caustic and we believe that he is in need of some dire changes. Now there is actually a buff in here as well as a nerf but it's mainly the nerf that I want to talk about. So personally having played a lot of ranked at the highest level in the top 100 tier of Apex Predator lobbies we find that Caustic is being used especially on Kings Canyon. We're good now that World's Edge is back in rotation but on Kings Canyon Caustic was being used, especially in the late game, to throw his ultimate in the final rings, making it impossible for anyone to breathe because there's just not enough space, and the area of effect of the Caustic ult is so large that it was just blocking out the entire ring, effectively making it a free-for-all of Caustics versus Caustics, and everyone else is just choking to death on the gas. We found there to be no realistic viable way to counter this other than being a Caustic yourself, so we talked about ways in which the game could be changed to stop this from happening in the near future. One option we discussed for a potential Caustic nerf would be that if his Caustic Ultimate is touching the ring for a certain amount of time, that it will just cease to exist. Now this would completely stop all of the late game Caustic Ultimates being thrown because of course they're going to touch the ring as it is so closed in that it is going to spill outside of the ring and into the zone. And of course this would stop all of that, it would stop all of this late game Caustic Ult spam and personally I think that is really important for the future of the game. Another potential change we talked about which has been a long time coming is some kind of indicator to help teammates distinguish which is friendly caustic gas and which is enemy caustic gas. This is a huge problem especially when there are so many caustics running around in ranked. To be able to distinguish whose gas is whose is very very important and in my opinion this is a change which has to come very soon. Next up we're talking all things Loba and in my opinion she needs a buff. Yes, I do believe Loba is not quite at the level of other legends in the game. She's got a nice range of abilities with her bracelet giving her the movement on her ultimate giving her something completely different to any other legend in the game being a loot based ultimate but however I do not believe that it is worth the weight that you have to get to get the ultimate for only two items of loot as well as the reduction of the ultimate accelerants boosting the ultimate up. It only does 20% for Lobo whereas for other legends it does 25% or even more. Personally I do not feel that it is worth this much and I do believe that it is overvalued by the respawn devs. Personally I think the best way to change Loba would just be to make it so that she can take one extra item of loot from her ultimate even if her teammates can still only take two 
Being Loba should give you something more, so having an extra item of loot as she is supposedly the expert thief who can do all of this crazy stuff, let her have another item of loot just to bring her up a little bit more, potentially make her a little bit more stacked when you fight her. I do believe this would really help boost her in the right direction. But guys, that is all I've got for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these buff slash nerf ideas for these legends. I'd really be interested what you think would be some cool buffs and nerfs to come to Apex Legends for certain legends. Let me know in the comments below what ideas you have and I might include them in the next video. So I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more regular Apex Legends content. But until next time guys, it's been your boy Ashton. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy and goodbye.